How long have we been living at Philly Snow Ferry? It must be yeah, about 50 odd years. In the early 60s, I come down here. We first bought the house about 19 years ago, and we've been here ever since. My husband did lots of work to it and we finally moved in a year later. Well, I was born at Felixstowe Ferry in 1939, but during the war, uh, my parents moved to Felixstowe because my father was in the Merchant Navy. Uh, after the war, we moved back down to Felixstowe Ferry and my father uh, resumed fishing. Felixstowe Ferry is a small hamlet located on the mouth of the River Deben in Suffolk. Despite having less than 100 residents, the ferry supports a calf, sailing club, two fish stalls, a Lynx golf course from Clubhouse and until recently two pubs. The floods of 1953 were a large factor in the history of the ferry. Visitors are still reminded of the event by a small plaque on the wall of the ferry boat inn marking the level at which the flood water reached in the pub itself. I know about the floods, yeah, the, the, whole, the whole place was underwater. And everybody went to those big buildings those, that, that we know as Harbour Villas. And that was sort of a scene, well, a scene of destruction. Houses, wooden houses floating out to sea and things like that. So Quite a lot of damage to boats. We've got stilts under the house and when it floods, we we can't get out, or we can now because we've got a balcony, but when we first came in and it flooded underneath, we had to be rescued by boat, which was quite exciting. I was brought up down the ferry here. Uh, I went to the local school, which was the ferry school, which is a mile up the road, and since then, I've almost always lived down the ferry. Living at Felixstowe Ferry is somewhat different to what most people would be used to. It's a fantastic mix of different homes, beautiful wooden houses, houseboats, harbour villas, even a Martello Tower, resigned from its former duties to become a residency. Originally when we first moved in there's a feeling about people who have holiday homes here that they, they don't like the fact that the houses are empty. But we've got a residence association which got going about 10 years ago and that has got everybody involved. I would say the feeling of community is good because we've got now the pub, the Fabo Inn, has become the sort of focus for the locals, um, particularly on a Friday night and a Sunday lunchtime. And it's really sociable. It's like a proper village pub, which it wasn't when we first came here. If you were to visit Felix Snow Ferry, you would be faced with an array of things to do. Aside from the long, peaceful walks, you could visit the retro-styled ferry calf and have a famous ferry breakfast, go crabbing off the jetty, take a trip across the Deben on the foot ferry, or visit the ferry boat inn. I've worked here all my life as well because I was a boat builder here. I started my apprenticeship in the yard here in uh, 1956, I think it was. And I worked in the boat yard building wooden boats for 42 years. I then retired from that and started running the ferry service across the river here. And I ran that for six years. Since then, uh, I retired from that, and I'm now still the harbour master at Felixstowe Ferry, and also do uh, little river trips in the summer for visitors. Felixstowe Ferry Sailing Club is situated here, a popular club which has hosted World Sailing Championships in different dinghy classes many a time. As well as this, there are hundreds of other different boats here, ranging vastly in size, shape, and purpose. It is a prime location for keeping yachts and cruisers, as well as commercial vessels. Come rain or shine, the ferry does not lack natural beauty. With stunning sea views, as well as the vast green landscapes, it is any photographer's dream and attracts nature enthusiasts from all over the country. It plays host to many birds and animals and provides stunning countryside walks stretching along the coastline or riverside. Felix Stowe Ferry is a truly unique and beautiful place, visited and revisited by many. It captures a piece of Suffolk, unspoilt and untouched by the rush of today's modern world.